Welcome back. If it's your first time to my channel, my name is Darla and I'm so glad you're watching. So we are on segment two of primers. Uh, the previous one, which is linked right here above me, right here somewhere, is on facial primers. And today we are doing eye primers. So if you have watched the previous episode, which is on the face primers, you already know, so I'm gonna tell you again. I 100% believe that primers work. Some people are like, oh, I don't know if I really see a difference. If you have the right primer, you will see a difference. So with eye primers, what their main purpose, again, long wear. Just like a face primer, this is going to give your shadow a long wearability. Sometimes we will put our shadows on, gosh, at like six in the morning. By the time you're going to dinner at night, it's gone. And so a primer helps with that. I haven't touched my eyes. I haven't touched my eyes since eight o'clock this morning. And it is 9.54. So I really feel like my primer helps my shadow really to stay put. As in my last video, I have various primers. And again, it is on what I'm wanting to achieve that day. So eye primers, they're gonna give you long wear. They're gonna give vibrancy to your eyeshadow. I don't know if you've ever done it, but I remember before primers, I would put on shadows and I'm like, they look nothing like what I'm looking at in the palette. It's not looking like that on my eyes. Some of us have dark eyelids. I tend to have a dark eyelid. So I have a couple here that are actual colored primers. And depending on the color eyeshadow I'm using, I'll use a more colored shadow to give it that even base to really pop like a, um, a burgundy or a, uh, a grape or, um, well, I'm, I'm wearing like a burnt orange today. So it helps with the color vibrancy as well. If you have a problem with creasing, if your eyeshadows or your eyeliner from your lash line is hitting up here, sometimes with, with hooded eyes, you'll get that transfer. An eyeshadow base will help that as well. So I'm just gonna dive in and start with the first one right here. This is by Bare Minerals. It's their Gen Nude Bare Minerals Primer. And what's so great about it, I don't know if it says on here. Yeah, eyeshadow slash primer. So sometimes when I just wanna pop on mascara, because my lids are dark, I it, it to me looks funny. So I have a primer that's actually a color. It really gives a nice base, and I'll, I'll do it all the way to my eyebrow and just kind of brighten up the eye. So you have that. Another one that's colored is the Stay Don't Stray, and I'm gonna show you that one. What I was reading on this, which is kind of cool, is you can put it all the way around your eyes. I can't say I've tried that, but I think I'm gonna give it a try. It was showing actually under and on top. See where this one's pretty matte? This is not as matte, so I do like that. But I don't know if I would put it under my eyes. You, If you guys have tried it, let me know. I haven't tried that. That is the Stay Don't Stray in Light Medium from Benefit. I did have a friend tell me that she uses this for a cut crease. So I can't say I do a, a ton of cut creases, but that is where you're gonna do the lid and really pop a color. And so you put that here and pop the color on top. Then the newest addition to my family right here is Morphe. I don't have the prices on these, but they're, they're gonna range from 20 to $30 most likely. This was less than 15 and I'm kind of liking it. The only thing is it is translucent. Oh, did I say it helps your, your shadows to glide on better as well? So as I age and as 
we all age, things get drier. And eyelids are one of them. Right in here is my main problem. And although this doesn't have color, it has a nice silicone feel. And I've been really, I'm actually wearing, am I wearing it today? I'm wearing it today. It gives a nice smooth surface for your shadows to go on. Now I will say another plus about wearing a primer, whatever primer it is. Yes, it, it helps with creasing, helps with color payoff. It also helps with blending because our, our eyelids all have different textures. Some people have very oily lids, like just lid part of your eye. And then up in here, it's normal. Well, your shadows will go on differently on that area than it would in the other area. Like in your, in your crease there, it's probably a little drier. So when you, that's another plus about an eyeshadow primer is that you're giving it an even surface, just like painting. You know, that's what we're doing on our eyes is painting. Don't you want a, a, a clear surface to go on with? This one is Lorac. Oh, did I even say what the name of this one was? This is Morphe Eyelid Primer, and I love what it says on the back. Directions, apply a thin layer to bare lids, defend your artistry. So just like what I was saying, you know, you're, you're an artist when it comes to shadows. So give it its best go, right? Lorac, this is behind the scenes eye primer. This is a mini. And whoo, this one, kind of cool if you were gonna do that. I, I, I don't though. It has a little bit of a brightener to it. It's not like these other ones where they're color, but it does have a brightener to it and it has like a little tug. Honestly, if you're more prone to oiliness, this would be a, a good um, primer for you. Along with this, because this is super matte. They do have clay primers. I don't have it out here but I also have one more primer that I forgot to grab out of my makeup bag, and it is a clay pot from Lancome. If you have an oily lid, that's a, that's a great one too. So something that's gonna be mattifying. You know, a lot of people use concealer. The only problem with concealer is it's heavy. These are a, cons a consistency that is not a heavy feel. You know, a lot of the concealers, they're they're heavy, and if you get them in your eye, they burn, because I've done it before. You know what, let me get the Lancome one that I was talking to you about, because you should see it. Let me, let me just get it, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this is the Lancome one. As you can see, it is a color. It actually comes in three colors. This is the color Nude, and it's a clay. You can see here. Where do I have a spot? So I have shown this to different women. It's one of two things. Either they absolutely love it or they absolutely hate it. Okay, I got a hand here. With this one, you need to press into the skin. That is the key to making it work. If not, it's gonna just roll away. So there is, yeah, you can see it pretty good. Thank you, Ness. That is the clay primer and I have used this, gosh, over 20 years, I think it's been out. It is an all around great eyeshadow primer. It is not, some people don't like the packaging. These are a little user friendly, but if you want something to stay all day, this guy's, a, it's a great primer too. And I've got, I've just got too many, I love them all. Okay, so I've talked about Lancome, clay, waterproof. Stay, don't stray. I honestly think this is, most of them are gonna be stay put primer for concealer and eyeshadow. So this is, a, this is actually a primer for concealers. Again, I don't know if I would use this. I don't know. I'll give it a try. This does not say waterproof. This one does not say waterproof. This one, translucent. That's what I like. It, it's really nice. I, you guys, honestly, it's like 13 bucks. It does not say waterproof. This one I believe is waterproof. Long lasting eyeshadow base. I haven't talked about this one yet. So this is Urban Decay. This is an anti-aging eye primer. I love it. So I've used this one 
a while. It's been out a while, but it's translucent and super emollient. It's really, really nice. So when I'm feeling dry, you know, no matter how much skincare we use, different things we eat, different weather situations, it affects your skin. So, you know, would I love to have perfect hydrated skin everywhere all the time? Of course, but does that happen? No, it doesn't. So when you have a variety, you can pick and choose what you want. If I'm feeling super dry, I'm probably not gonna use Lancome, even though it's not super drying, but it's a clay. So that really, if, if I already have some dryness, this is where I get it right here. Hate it. I'm probably gonna go for the anti-aging just cause I want some more. You know, these are more matte and it's, it's not complimentary when you've got drying dryness going on to use a matte product of any kind. There you go, there are the eye primers. I honestly, you know what's funny you guys? I honestly did not know I had this many. Like these are, I didn't go and buy. Well, okay, this one I was given. But the rest of them, I didn't, you know, I didn't go and buy them. I've had them. Colored, colored. If you want like a base, if you have a dark lid, that's what I would look for in a primer. This one, is translucent but super i'm liking the feel of it so it would probably go if you have some dryness going on it would be fine this one great anti-aging this one's colored too waterproof and then this one would be translucent it does have more of a stick feel so it, it really when i feel it on my hand just seems like an all-around great primer just wanted to share a little bit of my personal goodies with you. I mentioned, I don't know the prices. This was the only one I was even talking about price with because I just bought it. The rest of these are gonna be 20, 20 something. And I'll link it below just so you have an idea of the names of what they are and what to look for. I'm gonna link these below. At least you have names and you can guys go check them out. See what they feel like. Look at them, feel them. Get some more information if, if I didn't give you enough. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks again for watching, spending time with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And if you haven't subscribed, please, I would appreciate it. I'll even sing for you. Or if that made you unsubscribe, I'm sorry. No, I really, I'll sing for you one day if you'd like me to. That's another little thing I have. Yeah, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.